In chapters 26 to 30, the family discovers a mysterious goods train on a sidetrack with cages full of elephants, horses, and lions, but no crew. Okay, those three types of animals would be regarded as, well, circus. Circus animals, right? So I don't know where you guys stand on the circus. Uh, you know, the entertainment aspect of it, it's great, but uh, the animal abuse that comes with it. Okay, very uh, controversial thing. Now, Hendrik, he frantically calls nearby stations, demanding answers and exaggerating the situation in frustration. Now, Katrin combs Willem's hair, while warning him not to go near the train on his way to school. You know, don't don't even get near it. Uh, you know, fear the unknown, please. I, I don't want you near there. And just, by the way, in chapter 27, Hendrik is just, he's frantically calling stations, demands answers, gets a bit, you know, aggro as well. Hendrik is like your, you know, your typical, you know, old day father. You know, he's he's not the most understanding man. He's a bit aggressive. That's that's how most are portrayed here. Even in Philosikant as well, Elias, Elias van Royen is, is quite similar. He's, he's a lot more physically and verbally abusive, though, than Hendrik. But yeah, Hendrik is uh, yeah, he's, he's not the most understanding. Now, Hendrik explains that no other station knows anything about the train and insists on Willem, on walking Willem to the bus himself. Now, on the way, Hendrik sternly warns Willem to stay away from the circus train or he's going to be punished. Don't even go near the circus train or I'm going to scold you. While Willem sneaks very curious glances at it. He's a young kid. He's, he's interested. 